So for our Terp Talk wrap-up of the events here in College Park today, we're joined by Eric Abagu. Some of you have seen him yell for Under Armour about protecting this house. Is this the type of house you were imagining when uh, that tagline came up? Uh, it definitely is. Uh, I'm excited to be here to celebrate this uh, amazing time for the university, amazing yeah. time for uh, Maryland and the... <laughs> We were talking with Eric before, I was talking with Eric before. Eric, give your take on why Coach Locks is the perfect fit at this moment for this team. I think for me, uh, knowing Coach Locks a little bit while I was here uh, in my last years at the University of Maryland, mm -hmm. uh, being around the program all the time that he spent here and being able to come back as a former player, uh, just his journey, his road to kind of becoming who, ha who he has become, uh, it's amazing to kind of see him come back here in a time where, you know, the football program, the university needed some type of excitement, something special, something that we could all get behind. Uh, he, he, he embodies uh, all of that, and, and, and uh, he's exciting that he's going to be the head coach here. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. What did you make of his speech? Because it made me want to run out and tackle somebody. Uh, excited, you know, as a as a former player, yeah. you, you you get excited. Yeah. You get excited about his passion, his love for the university, and what he wants to do here, and the culture that he's trying to build. Uh, I'm excited to again be down here to see it, but it's going to be great for the players and everybody mm -hmm. around the university. We talked. I talked with Eric, and he agreed that there's a there's something about the journey to get here mm -hmm. and the hard path he had to get here. Mm -hmm. And think about it when he was uh, didn't get the job the last time, and Dirk had got it. Mm -hmm. He gets three years apprenticeship yeah. with like the greatest coach ever, Nick Saban. Oh, absolutely. And how ready he is for this. Now, you could just tell by his demeanor today. Mm -hmm. He is uh, he's so ready. And I told Eric that mm -hmm. I've been around for every new coach in the past mm -hmm. 30 years or whatever. There's never been this kind of excitement for a new coach here. Basketball, except... You know, going back to Gary, but that was so long ago. I it, can it barely reminds remember. me of that. Yeah, it, it reminds it, me that it we've is got of that an nature. actual yeah. terp okay. to come back. Right. There's no doubt the guy's a terp. That's all we wanted yeah. is to have a terp back here and to bring some terps with him and to make this about Maryland because it's, it's our place and we live and die with this place. This is not a stepping stone for us. I don't think it's a stepping stone for Mike. This is a place to be. Right. And I think that's getting all they, sweaty and frothed <laughs> up. <laughs> no, but that that's to me why you feel the excitement. Because I yeah. think that everyone that's been around the program, anyone that's kind of interacted with him or been around him, knows him some, you know that this is the right move and yeah. you know that this is going to be great for the players, the university, yeah. and the football family. So yeah. truly excited to have him back here uh, as the next head coach of the University of Maryland Terrapins. Yeah. All right. And we have to ask, as we always do, what are you doing with yourself these days? Uh, I am still at Under Armour. I am uh, senior director. Uh, in sports marketing, managing what we do around our NFL business and property, mm -hmm. uh, and what we do in a grassroots football space. Okay, so when you walk into an Under Armour store around and you <laughs> see you from 20 years ago as the model, does that resonate with you anymore? Or you don't even see it. Uh, you know, I see it. Uh, I, I think I've seen it so many years. Uh, you kind of get used to seeing mm -hmm. it. Uh, again, it was a, a great time for me in my life to be a part of that brand, yeah. helping it grow, yeah. uh, helping it become what it is. Mm. Uh, and it is. It's exciting to, to kind of see it, but, you know, I don't, uh, I don't dwell too much on it anymore. Okay. Fair enough. This is Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Eric, thanks for coming on, my man. Appreciate it. Hey, good this luck at Under Armour. Super Terp, former New York Jet, Eric Abagu. <laughs> uh, is that it for us today? Yeah.